This video is based on another one made by Wade Tubman where he explained how to use a momentary switch to activate your turtle mode. I set up my controller to use a regular switch to activate turtle mode and when you do that if you are flying and you've got your motors armed and you're flying around and you crash and you land upside down then you have to disarm, disarm your motors turn on your turtle mode, rearm the motors, and then flip your quad over using your roll stick. And when it's flipped over right side up, you have to turn off the motors again, turn off, turn off turtle mode, and then rearm the motors and now you can fly. Using a momentary switch, that process becomes much simpler. If you land upside down, disarm. you disarm your motors, you hold up the momentary switch while flipping the quad with your uh, roll, and then you let go of the momentary switch, and then disarm. you rearm and fly away. Disarm. So it eliminates a bunch of switch flips that you have to get in the right order. And I'm gonna show you how to do that based on his method. Right now, if we go into my radio menu, you'll see that it's set up for this switch to do the, the activation of turtle mode. So I'm gonna erase that and replace that with this one. And I'll show you how to do that first we go into the model and edit it and we go over to the special functions tab and this is where the sounds are set off so that right now my SG switch Turtle mode activated. Turtle mode off. does the, the noises for turtle mode so I'm going to delete those lines Clearing them. And now we back out of that page and we're going to move back to the inputs. And this is where I had TURT, Turtle, set up for SG. And we're going to get rid of that now. that. Now we're going to back out of this page and move over to the mixes and there was a mix here that was set up for turtle mode so I'm going to get rid of that one too. So we're going to turn this off and delete it. Now that those things are gone we can define an input for my momentary switch to be the turtle mode. So we're coming to come into inputs. We're going to start a new one right here. And we're going to call it turtle. And the source is going to be the switch there. There, now we've got our input set up as the switch SH. Now we need to set up a mix here on this page that uses that switch. And we're gonna call it turtle. And its source is turt. There. Now on the same channel 8 we need to add another line that has a delay that shifts this input from its full value down. So same channel we're gonna call this one arm and I'm gonna call it arm M for arm momentary. There. 
This one is still using the switch turtle, but this one we want to give it a weight of negative 50. There we go. And I'll show you what that does in a minute. And now we want to keep on coming down here and we want to give it a delay. And I don't remember if it's a delay up or a delay down. Um, so I'm going to, we'll pick one of them and test it and then we'll go back and, and if it works, then we'll know we got the right one. So the delay, let's make it one second so that we can see it really well. So there's delay up one. With this delay set on delay up at one second, we'll be able to see it in beta flight as to whether or not we chose up or down correctly, but we can't tell right now. So now we're going to back out and we're going to go back to the special functions and we'll set up our sounds. So here's our special functions and we'll go down and we'll add We'll add a turtle mode sound. We'll say actuated, and this will tell us whether or not it's the right way or not. Turtle mode activated. So I've got the switch going the wrong way, so I'm going to change this to switch down. Turtle mode activated. And now we can go to the next one and make this one SH up. Turtle mode activated. Turtle mode activated. Turtle mode activated. Make it to SH up. We'll play track. And then this one is going to be turtle mode off. There we go. So now when we lift it, turtle mode activated. When we let go, turtle mode off. Since we're looking at this and this says SH with a down arrow, we can guess that in the mix menu, down would have been the right one to use for our delay. So let's go back and check that and see if that's how it was. The mix. It was delay up. So I'm going to change this to delay down to be one. And I'm going to set this one to zero. There. Okay. So now we've done what we need to do in the radio. Now we need to look at beta flight. Here is the receiver tab in beta flight. I have my quad hooked up to my computer, and when I flip the momentary switch, Turtle mode activated. it's on auxiliary 4, Turtle mode off. and when I let go of it, we see that there's a delay in the setting changes. So, Turtle mode activated. there it's activated. Turtle mode off. So I know that I want that delay on the side of the switch that activates turtle mode. So I'm going to go back to the radio and change that setting. Here we are back looking at the mixes screen and I'm going to edit this setting, edit, and we're going to come over to the delay setting. I'm going to change this back to zero and make this one one. There. Now when we look at the receiver screen in Betaflight, when I flip the momentary switch, Turtle mode activated. first it goes to full and then it drops down, and then when I let go, Turtle mode off. it drops down to its minimum value. And you can see the minimum value is actually offset higher, and that's because of the negative 50 offset that we put onto it. Turtle mode activated. Turtle mode off. So this is what we're looking for. This is the behavior that we want. Now we can go into the modes tab and set up the modes so that the quad will do what we want it to do. So let's move over to the modes tab. Here we are in modes. So the first thing we want to do is give ourselves 
a mode for flip over after crash. I want to say add range and I think it was auxiliary four and we can check that by flipping the switch. Turtle mode activated. Yes. Turtle mode. Oh. So we move this range up and move the lower limit so that it encompasses both switch positions. Turtle mode activated. Turtle mode off. Good. And then we hit save. So now, turtle mode activated. Turtle mode off. we see that it lights up when I have the switch raised and then it turns off when it's not. Turtle mode activated. Turtle mode off. So that is going to give us the behavior that we want for the flip over. Now we need to add another range for arm. So I'm going to hide the unused modes. Now I can see this flip over after crash one here and I'm going to come here to arm and I'm going to add another range and it's going to be looking at the auxiliary 4 input and I'm going to drag this up here so that it only encompasses the lower of those two switch positions so now when I flip this up turtle mode activated turtle mode off now if I hit save, the button should behave like it would. So first, this is what will happen is when I flip the switch up, the, the setting jumps up to here, and when it does, flip over after crash turns on. And then it moves down to here, and that arms the motors. And then when you let go, it disarms the motors and turns off flip over after crash. So watch. Turtle mode activated. And then when I let go. Turtle so now the quad will behave like we want it to behave. Now we're going to make two more little tweaks. Back in our receiver, in our mixes tab, we're going to take this delay down from one second to 0.1 or 0.2. I've been using 0.2. And now we're going to go back to the tab where we have our sounds defined. That's on the special functions tab. And we're going to come down to where the play track is for turtle off. And we're going to change it from one time. And if you have one time, it will play when you turn the radio on. But we know that when we turn the radio on, the spring holds this switch down in the off position. So we don't need it to play every single time to tell us what mode it's in. So if you say uh, not one time, now it won't say the state when you turn on your radio. And that's it. Well, let's see if I can't give you a demonstration of what this looks like. Okay, so now we're crashed and disarmed. Now if I hold up my my uh, momentary button and then go to the rudder there we go now I can arm and fly again